Okay, y'all, this is going to be basically my first video ever, definitely for this channel, but I've only made a few, so please excuse me. Plus, I'm making it off my phone because I'm kind of confined to the little area right now. We've been, you know, going through all this cold weather, and I really can't get out and do what I want. But uh, I want to show y'all my version of my tumbler. Now, it needs a lot of upgrades. This is my first one. It's a prototype. I'm going to try to explain it to you, and I'm going to tell you some information. Um... Uh, I looked and I, I happened to just come across uh, Feather Bear Designs. Uh, his name is Dan and her name is Heather. They do, uh, well, Heather, I, that's the one I see mostly doing all the, uh, like your Yeti cups or whatever, your stainless steel tumblers. And I mean, man, she does all kind of stuff uh, from glitter to paint to wood grain to I don't know what all she does, but she does some beautiful work. Uh, and her husband made her a uh, tumbler. Uh, deal a multi uh, cup tumbler from a rotisserie uh, so she could uh, uh, put her two part epoxy on a bunch of them at one time instead of just one at a time because I had seen people use a rotisserie with just you know the rod and they put one cup on it at a time and it turns all night and that keeps the two part epoxy from you know running or set you know running and giving you runs and drips and stuff so but he had actually made her one that had six cups on it. And I'm going to tell you what. I was trying to make one with uh, running four cups and I about pulled my hair out. So uh, he's a good guy for doing that. But also, I did notice he had this big, huge contraption made and stuff. And uh, I thought, well, man, let me simplify it. And I know I can simplify it even more than what I got now. So, uh, but let me explain, because right now it is, basically, it's really too short, because this is only made out of two by fours. But as you can see, you can hold it off the edge of the table. You know what I'm saying? As I say, that was your table. It could come off the edge of your table, and I can even slide it some more. I don't know if this little table is on, it's gonna hold up. Uh, but, uh, so actually you can run one, two, and then you can put another cup on this rod. So it would be for three cups. So we can run three, you know, cups on a two gear system. And, uh, I think that would be better than running six because as I understand, you know, these motors, um, they, they're, they're not made to, you know, push six cups around, you know, all that weight and turn all that is, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, he's, it seems like they kind of burn out. But, so with all that said, uh, like I said, the next one I build is going to be out of two by sixes. Uh, I'm going to try to simplify it a little bit more. Uh, but I wanted to get that out there because I really want he, uh, Dan and Heather to look at this because he actually sells them. I'm not really planning on selling, but anything I have is for sale. You know, that's just how it is around my house. But I didn't build this to sell. I build because I do a few little cups here and there. It's not, you know, my bread and butter. Uh, but I enjoy making them, even if it's just for gifts for some of my friends and stuff uh, and things. So, again, as you can see, it's just that little, it's this 2 by 4 that 2 by 4 the gear, the motor, the PVC, and that's all it is to it. You know what I'm saying? You can pick this up, move it to any counter. You can hang it off the edge of the counter, just like I'm doing. And this one is high enough to uh, run a cup. Now, this is not going to be, you see what I'm saying? It's high enough to run a cup. All right? It's high enough, I don't know if you can see that, to run a cup already. Okay, but that's not the way he even has on there where he got little Nerf balls and he puts on there and then the PVC slides over to two Nerf balls and that holds it. Okay. So, uh, again, I'm going to leave you a link to his page. And like I said, he may want to sell you one or whatever. Uh, and I, well, I definitely know he would like to sell you one. But let me show it to you in action. I'm going to turn it on. It takes it one second. As you can see, it's rolling. See, I'm both rolling right there. Okay. And like I said, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to uh, make this a little bit better. I want mine out of two by six, so it can actually sit up on the counter and don't have to hold out like this. And when I do that, I may break it down and explain it to you a little bit more. But another thing I want to throw out: this is probably the wrong one to be showing. It's just one I happen to have, 
And as you can see, it can ride on that chain. So if anybody wants to make a, you know, one that hold more than a couple cups, uh, in the chain you're having a problem with maybe tightening the chain or getting the chain just right or you're fighting that chain you can always put you know this in there and get that chain tight and then screw it to your board hopefully or even the chain tensioner off a bicycle because you know of course that's where the gears come from is off a bicycle um uh, I don't know if I miss anything. I know I have a bunch of explaining just in case somebody new runs across it what these are made out of. That's three quarter uh, inch PVC, little Nerf footballs from the Dollar Tree. These are bicycle, the big gear, and basically I think the smallest gear they have. Uh, three quarter inch PVC, three quarter inch couplings. Again, these are the smaller balls, as you can see, the smaller balls uh, for your 20 ounces. These are for like your 30 ounce cups. Uh, still got the full length rod. I have not cut that off. Uh, but it's cause, you know, again, this is just my prototype one. Again, it will run. It is uh, capable of doing three cups in that small of a unit, uh, just by pushing it off the edge of the table. <clears throat> I know when you get the two cups out there, it gets a little light in the back, but you can always put you a little piece of weight or another piece of wood. On that side if that's what you want to do but again I'm fixing to build another one out of two by six and um, uh, I'll give you hopefully can give you all the measurements that time but here's another thing I noticed if you keep it simple like this or even if you don't because I was gonna do one oh excuse me I was gonna do one with uh, have you know two you know a sprocket on each side so then I could run five you know what I'm saying you could if I keep putting my finger in you could have the two and then you would have two more on this side, and then you would have the main center rod for five cups. Okay. Um, it was something I was going to tell you, and I don't remember what it was now. It slipped my head after I kept spinning the, uh, the uh, phone around and around. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I really would have liked to had a sprocket on each side. Then you wouldn't have had to have this. You could have still only ran three. You know what I'm saying? You'd have one, two, and then the middle rod for three. But what you would have is you could push it all the way up against the wall because you wouldn't have this back here. You could push that up against the wall and let your three cups be running out this side. If I hope I'm making sense. So, again, uh, that's all I can think of right this second. I will leave uh, Dan and, uh, oh my God, goodness, Dan and Heather from Feather Bear Designs. I will leave a link uh, to their page. And uh, actually, you'll probably find them for me because this is going to be my first video on my, you know, new channel. And it's going to be, I think I'm going to put it under My Life Productions. And hopefully I'll start making, showing y'all how I make more things. Like, uh, you know, I make stickers. I'm sorry it's so dirty. He's been out here in my shop. I've been working on it. That's my propane. I got a heater on it. But, you know, my propane tank that I made for myself. And then, like, you know, I have one of those I've seen on Pinterest. How to make a, you know, a, a, a stool out of a bicycle frame. And I tell you what, I actually like it. It sits perfect for me. Uh, and you can see I have a another bicycle and I actually have another one to make it out of and so i actually have a few more gears so i can make some more of these like i said oh that is not yet excuse me you have to say all my junk i got more junk y'all know what to do with but uh sure you you know i have more to make those uh as you can see uh i'm making a little dog so i got all kind of little stuff going on like i said so Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Sorry for rambling on so long. Probably rambled on more than I gave any good information. But I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching.